A couple years ago, I saw this music video that made it seem like the artist was being recorded in slow motion. He was mouthing the words in slow motion, and I wanted to figure out how to do it. A couple months ago, I hit up Frederick Alexander. He's an artist. Um, check out what we came up with. Jesus, you're still How do we do it? Well, the first thing you need to do is find the right song. You want to make sure that the artist can keep up with the words that he's saying when the song itself is being doubled. You need to take the original song file and speed up that file. So you want to make it, you know, while it's at originally 100x, make it 200x. So take it into any sort of editing software that allows you to manipulate the speed of the audio file, export that file in 2x speed, and play that sped up version of the song for the artist when you start recording. Here's what it sounded like on set when we actually started recording. Walking around these walls, I thought by now that far, but you have never failed me yet. Waiting for change to come, knowing the nice. Take the file that you recorded, import that into your editing software, get the original mastered audio file, import that into your editing software, and then you want to take the file that you recorded, slow it down 50%. The first word happens right here in the audio track. I just put an M there to mark it. That's where the first word happens. Then I'm going to mute this by pressing V and then unmute this top clip by pressing V and then go to the first word that he says right there, right? Right there, walking. I'm going to press M and then just kind of match it up here. So made this top clip that we recorded in real time 50% slower so that it matches with the mastered audio file. Here's the edited version where the clip is slowed down to 50% and then the master audio file is synced up with that clip. Walking around these walls I thought by now they'd fall But you have never failed me One thing I definitely forgot to mention is that when you do record this, you wanna make sure that your frames per second setting in your camera is at at least 50 frames per second or um, 60 frames per second because you're gonna use a project timeline at 24 frames per second most likely. When you slow that file down 50%, it should match up with the master audio file. And now you have this really cool effect of the artist you know, looking like he was being recorded in slow motion, but really what he did was speed up the original song file, bring that on set, and then make the magic happen in the editing software. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Go ahead and keep on creating. And if you have any more questions, feel free to shoot me a comment. And uh, if you have, yeah, that's, that's how I'm gonna close it out. All right guys, thanks for your time, peace. It's like, what's your one piece? We had a great talk on the way up here, just kind of about mentality. Like, what would you give to somebody watching today that wants to even just create or get started? Like, man, I mean, honestly, our conversation for me personally reminded me that you should use what you have. Use what you have now, maximize that. Yeah. And the heart that you put in that, that's gonna touch someone and it'll lead you to the next step.